Today we're just outside the village of North Leverton uh, and we've come in search of one of Nottinghamshire's lost villages. We're looking for the village of Hablesthorpe or Apesthorpe as it's called on some maps and it's about a mile outside North Leverton. We're standing beside the Catchwater Drain which is the 1770s uh, construction to gather up water coming off the hills and, and take it to the Trent. And just beside, behind me you can see some trees and bushes which is where Hablesthorpe Church used to be until about the 1770s. So we're going to go and see what we can find and learn out a little bit about why was this village here and what happened to it. So as you can see there's not a lot left of medieval Hablesthorpe which stood on slightly higher ground above what would have been marshland and water for much of the year. But we do know where the church stood. So let's go and have a look in the trees and see if we can find any remains. So here we are in the trees and you might be saying well what's the evidence that this was ever a church and a churchyard? So we're going to try to find uh, if there's any gravestones here that might that might tell us that. So please come with me. And here we have Mary and Edward Clark. Here's the evidence that we really are in the old churchyard and the church would have been nearby. This is Mary Clark died in 1855. One of the last burials that was ever done here. Uh, they tried to close this parish as early as 1650 and amalgamate it with North Leverton. It probably took until the 1740s uh, for that to be achieved when the last vicar was, was here. And by that time Hablesthorpe Church was largely a ruin and everybody went to North Leverton. Uh, but by 1600, Hablesthorpe was already declining. But actually, it's at that time that Hablesthorpe is so important in the Christian history of this region. Just behind me, we have West Burton Power Station, but in front of West Burton Power Station is Sturton Le Steeple, the acknowledged home of early separatists John Smith and, and John Robinson. But the connection is even closer than that. One of the earliest historians of the separatists identified John Smith as being from the Hablesthorpe district and John Smith was the probably the most influential leader of the separatists in the early 1600s and is widely regarded also as the founder of the English Baptist denomination. Some of the land here in 1600 belonged to one of the Helwys family and John Smith's great friend was Thomas Helwys and Thomas Helwys actually was the person who organised the escape of the separatists from Gainsborough to Amsterdam in 1608. Helwys is hugely important because later on he came back to England in about 1611 and founded the first proper Baptist church in London. So anyone who's an English speaking Baptist anywhere in the world has connections to Thomas Helwys and therefore to this place. So there you are, we've completed our little tour of the lost village of Hablesthorpe. Hope you've learned something new. If you want to find out more about Hablesthorpe, Thomas Helwys, John Smith or others, uh, you can read some of our books from Here We Change the World or Restless Souls Pilgrim Roots or People and Places of North Nottinghamshire. We're going off back to the car to plan our next adventure in local history and if you enjoy what we're doing please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thank you.